singing by myself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's the drums. Yeah. Mike's Daily Podcast. My cousin Anki and my uncle Yup. Yes. Mike's Daily Podcast. Germans have fun names. I'm Mike Matthews. Hey, here's something to say. I had a bit of a busy Friday, so I couldn't bring you a podcast yesterday. So I say I'm going to do one today. It's episode 2298. 2298. 2298. And the show is called Mike's Daily Podcast. And this is it. I haven't been on this microphone in a while, so this will be exciting. Yes. Mike's. And today, I'm doing something new that involves a different uh, job that I have, that I have a full-time job, and there's something happening on the weekend, because that's, you know, I don't know what your job does during the weekend, if it shuts down, mine does not, it keeps it going, and there's stuff happening, So I have to keep on it, and I'll probably have to work a little bit today on that. At any rate, thank you for listening to Mike's Daily Podcast today. We're going to cover some things, but first, the podcast picture from uh, the last podcast. Wasn't that simply wonderful and delightful with Basil the Boxer and his big smile from two years ago? At that point in that picture, he could not walk on his two back legs. So it involved yours truly lifting him up with a harness. Now, I, it was a labor of love, and Labor Day is coming up soon, but it was, it, it was a time in my life where I still got to enjoy my dog, and he looked happy, and he still had fun. And You know, there's nothing that really brings you as close to another animal when you're actually helping that animal do something it wants to do it wanted he wanted to walk and explore this park that we had gone to many times but hadn't gone to in a while because of his condition and here's today's podcast picture the degenerative myelopathy so he wasn't able to walk on his back hind legs anymore so it was becoming more and more difficult and i picked this one particularly really hot day in August, as it is another hot day in August today. But two years ago, you can see that picture at mikesdailypodcast.com. Today's podcast picture, though, is from a year ago. And my lovely lady friend went to Filoli Historic House and Garden. And you can see a picture of that. Oh, Basil never got to go, got to, go to Filoli Historic House and Garden. The late, great Basil the Boxer. Sorry, Basil. But, yes, I don't think they allow dogs anyway. I think Filoli, or Filoli, the name, as I am trying to, let's see, it stands for something. It's, it's for, you know, they should put that right at the front of their page. Why do I have to look for it? They make me look for it. The house before Filoli, Filoli, it stands, oh, fight. For a just cause Love your fellow man Live a good life The owner Whose last name was born He arrived at the unusual name By combining the first two letters From the keywords of his credo Fight for a just cause Love your fellow man Live a good life Filoli stands opposed to systematic And institutional racism and there's more about that at their website, Filoli.org. So my lovely lady friend walked around there. I still have not been there in person, so I am motivated now to go. Hey, I wanted to play something for you real quick. So you remember the band Men Without Hats and they had that song, Safety Dance? Well, the lead singer, who is also bald, so that makes him really cool. He's bald now anyway. He has... Redone his song But he's done it In an interesting way Check this out It's got like a flute in it Out of this world Leave the real one Far behind He's doing kind of A folky thing And then all of a sudden It gets this It gets this Dancey thing going on Anyway And it's not called Safety dance It's called No friends of mine I just discovered that 
and it has that kind of a dance beat. We can dance. Uh, I thought I would share that on Mike's Daily Podcast Because we can dance If we want to And leave the real one far, The real world far behind Alright, let's see We covered that uh, Hurricanes are coming It's, it's going to hit Louisiana Hurricane Ida uh, Looks like the track As of now is Louisiana, then it's going to go Inland Through parts of Louisiana And Mississippi And end up with a little bit Of the top of North Alabama Which I lived in North Alabama for a while And when that happens I'm afraid that might cause some tornadoes In that part of Alabama So I'll have to keep an eye on that And it will eventually end up Wow Like it'll go through Kentucky May hit part of West Virginia So it's a, it looks like it's going to go inland But, you know, probably by the time it gets that far inland It'll be a, just a storm, lots of rain The unvaccinated teacher that infected half her students with COVID Did you hear about that? She was like reading a story to a bunch of kids And she had COVID And she wasn't wearing a mask Because she was telling the story Yes, that is a big story at the moment You've probably heard of it Twelve students in all Twelve I I thought it was something like 30 or 40 or 100 students But it looks like it was 12 Not good But not as bad as I thought But you know, that's how the news train works Afghan evacuees are getting COVID shots As we go outside a cafe anyways We bring you Mike's Daily Podcast Somewhere in Podcastro Valley Ten today, the last place on earth Afghan evacuees are getting shots At a mass vaccine site in the U.S. Um, they're arriving in the U.S. after fleeing the Taliban They've begun to be vaccinated At Dulles International Airport I once ate at a Five Guys at the Dulles International Airport in, Outside of Washington, D.C. That is the only entry point for evacuees so far um, Let's see Eligible Afghans are being offered the single-dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine So only about 2% of Afghanistan's population Has received at least one dose of COVID vaccine That's the other big news Uh, Let's see Reuters also reported that the rate of vaccination Among Afghans Dropped by as much as 80% As the Taliban took over So that's going to affect them In some humongous way And that's uh, Pretty much it for the news And that's the news At Mike's Daily Podcast Outside a cafe anyway somewhere in Podcast Valley In these days of crazy 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 news And I do suggest if you want to listen to a band you completely missed in the 80s And you didn't hear about them in the 90s Because we live here in America There was a band called Rushford in the 80s And I happened to, they had the CD at this radio station I worked at in the 80s And so back then I was, I was, I was just Grabbing cassettes and recording everything And then they used to have a Oh, what what did they call that? Um, well, there was a, this thing called a bulk eraser And then there was a box of people's air check tapes Because, you know, people were constantly That's how you tried to get a job in radio back then You'd get a cassette You'd put it in an envelope with your resume And mail it to a bunch of radio stations You'd get a bunch of cassettes And so the radio station would get all these cassettes of people's air checks And in people's music too Some bands would record cassettes on cassette and send it to the radio station So what we would do is So they'd just give us this box They'd leave it in the production room where we'd produce commercials And we'd grab a bunch of cassettes Take them to the bulk eraser Mass erase them So now they're clean If you did it right, they were clean If you did it wrong, you'd get this on it 
And then that would sometimes bleed into whatever you were recording. So you didn't have a pure blank cassette at that point. And it would sometimes mess up what you were trying to record. So Rushford, the band, which I'm trying to look them up and I am seeing the British band. I think I have to write British band because apparently there was a American band. Uh, well, am I thinking of the wrong? They they had a song called Cuddly Toy. It it got airplay. Roachford. Oh my gosh. I completely wow. So yeah, Roachford was a band that was fe- featured a. a a family whose last name was Roachford. And then the lead singer, he got popular in England. Uh, and it, erg, Andrew, was it Andrew Roachford? He went on to become a solo artist in England and have some, some success. Uh, so I, I believe it was Andrew Roachford. In fact, there was a time when Mike and the Mechanics, yeah, it's Andrew Roachford. If you look up YouTube concert videos of him, he's amazing. He, he's still writing stuff and just a great singer. Uh, the oh, they had a song called "What's Some What's Going On in This Crazy Crazy World We Live." That pretty much explains today, even though that song came out in '89. But Andrew Roachford for a short while replaced What's his name? Paul Carrick In the band Mike and the Mechanics Because he had a similar voice And he could do the Paul Carrick parts Because Paul Carrick had left And the other guy from Mike and the Mechanics Paul Young was his name But not the Paul Young that sang Every time you go away you take a piece of me with you And why don't you come back Please hurry Come back and stay this time Uh, he No, not that Paul Young It was a different Paul Young The guy that sang All I Need Is a Miracle And the other song Mike and the Mechanics had That got airplay on adult contemporary stations In the mid 80s Called Taken In uh, Paul, That Paul Young passed away And I forget who replaced him For a while In the band But Paul Young That Paul Young died pretty young Ironically But Andrew Rochford So Mike and the Mechanics Started by Mike Rutherford From So you got Rutherford And Rochford Mike Rutherford was with Genesis The guitarist And then he went and started Mike and the Mechanics And they had In the living years Saying it loud Say it clear You can listen as well As you hear that song There you go So it all comes back around And I'm gonna add a Ford To the end of my name Mike Matthews Ford Make me sound good That way I don't get confused with that bodybuilder guy Who's entirely too ripped There's got to be some steroids involved Yours truly That does not come into play All that comes into play Is a little bit of coffee Now and then Okay maybe too much coffee And I like uh, To eat Walnuts Where did this end up? Oh, are walnuts what help you get through this crazy, crazy world? They do have good fats in them, don't they? Walnuts. I heard walnuts had the good fats. I know they got some kind of protein in them. Uh, Let's see. They got... they, They are, let's see, calcium, potassium, 180 calories... Per serving That's about 17 minutes of running uh, They have Oh yeah they do have Plant based omega 3's Which are good You need that kind of good fats In your diet It promotes uh, heart health Maintains bone nerve and immunity It, compla- it contains a complex mixture Of bioactive plant compounds Wow So there you go My mom in the store They used to sell walnuts in the shell And she would grab a bunch of shell A bunch of these walnuts And then just start smashing them 
on the side of things in the store. She'd like look around and then hit really hard and then break open the shell and then eat it right there in the store. Yeah, that taught me some good. Ma- <laughs> yes, mom. I don't think that's. I think you. Well, she never got thrown out of the store. It was called Vons. Do they still have Vons in Southern California? The Vons we went to turned into a John's. They just removed the V and added a J. God, that place was awful. It was a dirty supermarket. Not good memories there on Van Nuys Boulevard. So, if you want to make things better in your life, want to try and get through the craziness, maybe walnuts will help. But don't steal walnuts. But do one thing every day that makes you happy. What makes you happy? Podcasting, listening to music, going through the internet, reading conspiracy theories, uh, watching your favorite movie, walking, running, jogging. Do one thing every day that makes your family happy. That's a good point of view. That makes people around you happy. And remember this old saying, this old nugget. Remember that this too will pass. Yes, this too shall pass. It will. It has. You've got the history to prove it. Remember, though, that this too will come again. There will be another struggle, another trauma, another awful situation where we fear for our safety and for the amount of toilet paper we have stocked in our house. Call your friends. Call your family that you choose. Ask them in that that sentence, call your family that you choose. Because some family you don't choose because maybe that one family member is a bit too racist, a bit too conspiratorial, a bit too out of sorts to really connect with so remember the family that you choose also ask them to come over for drinks and for dinner because life is unpredictable and you won't forget the time you spend with them unless that time runs out a friend of mine is getting married in about a week and I told him that is one of the things that I can tell you as someone who did get married that did have go have a wedding that everybody is there for you and there are people that you're going to see at the reception at the wedding that in a couple of years may be gone maybe not even that long they'll be gone and you're going to remember those t- oh my gosh so uncle slow yes i i did for a brief period of time have an uncle slow um it was my ex-wife's Uncle, great uncle He passed away about Less than a year after the wedding So he was sitting there In the front row, in the front pew of the church And I'll never forget that And I'll never forget uh, My friend growing up, Derek His dad was there And met me in the parking lot And gave me a hug And I hadn't seen him in so long And within 10 years he would be gone So yeah, that, that, that is a very real thing. And when you have these dinners and lunches and get-togethers, it's very important to do that. Trust your gut. Trust your child's gut. Sometimes they are more open than we are. Stop arguing with your neighbors. Some of them are stupid. Most of them don't know they are. Or maybe you're the stupid one. Either way, we believe what we want to and what we need to. And, you know, love your neighbor as yourself and all that. And in the end, they you might help them. They might help you at the end. Turn off the news. Don't watch television of any worth. All those awful reality TV shows, soap operas, telenovelas... The weatherman Maybe that's the only good thing The weatherman's having the time of his life Or the weather woman They have 15 minutes of fame But they're terrified That their exposure to the outdoors Will be the <laughs> What? The rest of this makes no sense Oh and it says here Give into your higher power I don't care if that power is God Or spirits or burning sage Or Or that darn vision board that annoys me so darn much. But accept that there is only so much you can do. This from Psychology Today and from Lindsay Wisner. 
a psychologist in private practice in Long Island and the author of 10 Steps to Finding Happy. And heck, I will even plug her podcast, Neurotic Nourishment Podcast is what it's called. So there you go. Some things to think about in this crazy, crazy world. Outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Tin, look who's here. Hi, my. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. How's it It's this girl, Phil Player, tell you what. What? I just found a gold nugget on the ground outside a cafe anyway, so I am happy, and I don't care about this crazy, crazy world. Good. See? You did something that made you happy, picking up a gold nugget. Look who else is here. Oh, Mike, I made the delicious root beer hamster right now. <laughs> okay. I think I will, but I will use a straw this time. Mmm. Delicious. Hey, so much for those paper straws. Oh, no, wait, they're still around. So much for those plastic straws. Those are the things disappearing. Yeah, you can't recycle them. Yeah, seagulls choke on them. Yeah, it causes World War III. But still, paper straws, useless. Just... And then some people take along metal straws. I actually use just now a plastic straw that I clean in the dishwasher because we all say dishwasher and thusly it gets clean and I can reuse it because it was in the dishwasher. Now, I don't know. That's what I'm told it gets clean, but maybe there's other things in there that's... That's the, what the, that's the risk you take with the reusable stuff. Thank you so much, Brewmaster. Drink it right now, I'll cut you. I just drank some through the straw. Next show will be the wonderful Shelly, no, Madam. Madam Rutabaga, Valentino, and Bison Bentley. Tomorrow I will be on the radio. And there's a link to what radio station I am going to be on. It will be between the hours. Of 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Pacific time On the Pacific coast, on the west coast So, but you'll be able to If you just do your little math Adjustment wherever you're listening to the show And you can listen uh, Maybe add three hours, subtract three hours I don't know But Pacific Standard Time is where I'm on And that is between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. tomorrow and every Sunday. And the link is there at mikesdailypodcast.com. And you can chime in about anything we covered today. 336MM daily. 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM is in Mike Matthews daily as in what this podcast will try to be. Sometimes I get interrupted like I did on the... What a Friday. That was a crazy, busy, nutty Friday. I I hope the Fridays get a little more calm, honestly. And Saturdays, for that matter. Moving forward. Crazy, crazy world we live. Okay. And now, new mom, it's A-Frame. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.